The police, the leading security agency in civil responsibility like elections, say all its personnel will participate in the forthcoming elections. Civil defense and other paramilitary agencies have since disclosed the number of personnel to be deployed. The military, whose work is protecting the territorial integrity, is yet to make any statement to that effect. Briefing journalists, during a meeting with domestic and foreign observers, the convener civil society situation room, Clement Wonko, said the continuous silence of the military on the number of personnel to be deployed is worrisome. For their part, the representatives of CSOs, domestic and foreign observers, underscored the importance of peaceful election. Africa. We always want Nigeria to lead by example. And that's why it's important these elections should be peaceful, should be credible. Um, but also, um, some of us who've gone around the country, I want to agree with what Glenn has said about the preparations for these elections. I'd just like to urge us to come out and vote. And when you vote, stand your ground and protect your mandate. It is our election, it is our Nigeria, and her destiny is in our hands. We can't afford to abandon it to the political class. We look forward to working together to ensure that Nigeria has a free, fair, and peaceful election. Uh, whether bringing in uh, independent uh, observers missions, uh, supporting all the key stakeholders here, really what we do is dwarfed by the work that you do uh, as Nigerians. We come and go, you stay behind here, you follow up on the processes. The CSOs have also opened their situation room to receive information from observers across the country. Al Hassan Bala, ITV News Abuja.